Hi everyone, welcome to Zero Morgan Collectibles, and as always, this is your friend and neighbor collector Sam. Welcome back to our Vault in Box DX SOC Voltus 5 In Depth Review Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, there's a link now, so click on it, come back, and enjoy. Let's go! Now we're gonna try to build the Falcon base. So, yeah, we're looking at the instruction book all right so you have step one was putting in the battery so i already put them on so next is how to build it all right so number one it number one janai <laughs> number two is put this in over here so yeah i do hope i can disassemble this later <laughs> then next is the big this big boy right here. See so yeah, you? Put it over here. Ah, oh, so just so you can see there's slots over here. So maybe it's better if I put it here first. No? Okay. Crap. Slot them in, or maybe it's yeah. Come on, man, get in there. So what you do here is you put it here and then you slide it in so yeah this is next it's a bit of a tight fit but a good fit none the least put that here as you can see it next is the trusses so this is uh where do i put this oh This one is here. What? Next is this boy. I believe. Or do I have it? Okay. There. This fat guy goes into here, or here. Uh, this goes here. Crap. <laughs> it's just hanging over here. Okay. Then, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's play some music. <laughs> Oh, let's stop it. <laughs> so yeah, we finally figured this out. This is for the robot. You won't need this for the vault machine. So yeah. Uh, let's start from the land down. So yes, please do be wary of the positioning. So, this guy is supposed to be facing there, so let's put this here. Okay, slots very nice over there. Then next is, this can be a bit tricky, as you can see there are dots over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You need to align them very accurately, so be mindful of that. So this, this, this two come, goes over here. So yeah, let's flip it. And then let's try to gently slot them in without destroying the base. See, it's a tight fit. Snap it back in. That's also gently. So, yeah. See? Good side by side. With the dots are aligned with the holes it will snap in fairly easily so like that so yeah the next is you put them on the base as you can see the lines are always pointing towards the back then we have it and then 
Next are these two. So this guy is for the left side. Slot in there. to be a tight fit but it fits nonetheless yeah okay and then this guy is over here and there we have it a big fucking base all right Okay, then we put the falcon head on the top, which you cannot see. <laughs> Just slots up there, so let's pan up. So there it goes. Falcon head. Alright. And then you put these here, your holders for your capsules and then you put your capsules on top of those so yeah that's nice and yeah if, if you're wondering where you put the V you put the V here at the back so I'm gonna show that to you later alright so now we have the five volt machines in front of us. These are the volt machines. I just took them out of the um, the tray, the styrofoam tray. So they are volt ready when you take them out. So yeah, and one thing that I noticed is, as you can see, there are some streaks of uh, oil. I believe this is from the paint and the grease from the joint so first thing you have to do is wipe them off so it's gonna have that uh, slick feel so yeah this is just a side note that you need to be mindful of so yeah all right so let's look at the vault machines one by one so yeah first and foremost is the vault cruiser vault machine number one so it looks like this uh, it already looks the part very nice very nice indeed as you can see the plastics are molded in the color so that's always good and some are um, painted like the white the white parts are painted the silver parts I believe the blue is molded plastic so that's always good for me so yeah I got some things that are hmm. never mind that so yeah it looks like this I will be transforming it into the volt machine later so next is the volt bomber which is the arms so yeah I have not wiped them yet so there are still streaks of oil on them volt bomber Looks very nice. Like cast is the joints. So yeah, there are some details in there. So yeah, for added uh, friction, very nice indeed. And then um, next is the Penza, the Volt Penza, which is the body of Volt Five. It's already Volt ready. You have this fault ready positioning so yeah the threads are rubber so they can turn oh, very nice <laughs> good touch thank you Bandai for that so the die cast here is this the joints I believe this torso um, the, the upper body is plastic I think this die cast I'm having a hard time um, identifying the diecast parts, but yeah. 
it's quite heavy the next is the Volt Frigate we have him uh, I think the biggest the longest part of Voltus 5 is the Volt Frigate you see the clear plastic the blue is very nice this is the heaviest one I believe the legs I think this has the most die-cast parts so yeah here you go then the Volt Lander oh no I, I think this is the heaviest but let, let's see um, rubber wheels that also turn so very nice material use is nice to try and loosen Translucent plastics are okay. So yeah, next is I'm gonna weigh them before we even transform them into their proper bolt machines. So yeah, all right. So yeah, what we have here is a scale. If you don't know what this is, I'm gonna weigh first the Volt Cruiser. Let's see how heavy he is. He is 63 grams, a very lightweight because he is the head. Okay, next is the Volt Bomber. Volt Bomber. Okay, the arms. Let's put him here. So he's 227 grams. So quite hefty for arms. Next is the Volt Penza. I think this is the heaviest. No, no, not really. Maybe. So yeah, he's 329 grams. Volt Penza. Give or take, right? Then uh, the Volt Frigate. So yeah, Volt Frigate is 454 grams, heaviest as of now. Then let's look at the Volt Lander. Volt Lander is 370, so I was wrong. Heaviest is the Volt Frigate. So we're gonna have him combined later and see his combined weight. So. All right, so you're getting the uh, Voltus 5 to give its 100% features. You have to unscrew this. You see, this is the, in the back of the Volt Cruiser. You need to put in the batteries, the L736Fs. So yeah, just slots in like that to return it. So yeah, please do be careful and mindful of that. All right, so yeah. Um, going into a transformation back into the volt machine so first you do is you hold it here firmly and then you tilt the head okay there's gonna be a click so very good then you do this just align it align it flush so there you go and then you do this and then you push in so you have your Volt Cruiser. Alright. And then you open this if you want the landing gear to be exposed. You just do that. Other side. So yeah. Then here is the landing gear again. So yeah. Volt Cruiser in the Volt Machine. Alright. And yes. For added gimmicks for the Volt Cruiser. You can open its cockpit. So you can see there are details inside there. You can put the the uh, pilots inside in their capsules and then close it. So yeah, there's going to be a snap so you know it's secure. And then there is the, the front cutter. What you do is you try to open it over here. If you had nails, it'd be easier, but I just cut my nails. So yeah, the beak is open. You just crack it a bit, just a tad bit as you can see. Like that. And you can remove this. And then put this on. As exchange. So yeah. Very nice. And then you clip it in. And then for the wings. Uh, you have the landing gear. Supposed to be inside. And then you take this out. It's a bit tight. So I can't show it to you right now in this video. But I'm going to show you the tips and tricks the other features of Voltus 5 in another video so yeah 
All right. So your next is the Volt Bomber from the Ready to Volt in version to your Volt machine. So yeah, it comes to you like this. And now I'm gonna show you the gimmicks of um, the Volt Bomber. Number one is the attached articulated fingers. Oh so yeah, very nice indeed. So you, you still do have to be careful with this. So you can see the workings in there. On the other side, they are fully articulated. So that's nice as you can see that. You can have him peace man. No. We love no war, but yeah. This is a super robot anime, so <laughs> there is gonna be war. So what you do is you do this first. I recommend you holding the joint before you fold and then clap it back in. So yeah, there's gonna be a click. And then you do this, hold it here. Hold the joints to turn back into your foot machine. So, yep, yeah, it's gonna be nerve wracking for your first timers, also for me. And then you push this back inside there. So, you have the yellow part, the yellow part, you push it there, so the yellow part is out. Then you fix it here. So that's another step. And then you do this again. And here, over here. And you push it again. Going inside. And then you take this off. Take the hands off. And you take this out, shim it, shim it out. It doesn't want to take out, but take it out. Well, oops, my bad. You don't shim it out, you push it in. Push it in. So there's a mechanism here, you can see. Just push it in. Come on, man, go inside, okay? So that's in. And then you put the cover. Please do note the direction. This is not good. This is the direction you want to put it in. So yeah, that's the cover for it. Do that on the other side and that's for the vault bomber. All right. So yeah, I uh, forgot to show the landing gear for our vault bomber. So yeah, uh, there are flaps over here, so you can see, just open them, and this is not something you push on, this is a switch, you just show it on the other side, yeah, you just flip it, and then it opens, so that, very nice, right? Alright, and yeah, additional uh, landing gear gimmick at the front, there are, um, same flaps, and then you just pick out the wheels also to take it out so yeah all right so yeah next is the volt panzer so for people who are wondering where the battery um, slots are you just need to pop out the front and then you're gonna have to use your nails guys don't use anything uh, metal because it's gonna scratch the paint and then the compartments are here so you're gonna have to use a screwdriver all right so yeah i put in the um, batteries inside as you can see it says it has to be the plus is facing to you when you put it in and it's really physically if you don't force it in um you know that you have it um the right side up so just to check here's the switch it is on the on position and then if you press this crap yeah, it's on and if you press this yeah all right that's very nice so let's put that back in to the volt panzer this is die cast this is heavy 
you just snap it back in just like that and then to transform the panzer into its volt machine form is what you do is first you turn this out just pull on this tuck, and then you turn them out ever so slightly and then you do this like that and then you pull on this just be careful on this because it is still fragile even even if this is die cast over here pull on this right here just try to shimmy it out so yeah I did that off camera because <laughs> it was difficult having uh, the weight away from my body so yeah try to shimmy it out again okay there we have it just be patient about it don't want to be breaking anything so yeah there we go it's out so you can turn it and then you can push it back again there you go and then you can do this fold that in and there you have revolt panzer and then you get the claws out right Low panzer all right we yeah for the gimmicks of the volt panzer in the volt machine form as I said moving threads the grabbers they are extendable so yeah they close and open them volt panzer and th this is one of the easiest cockpits to open so yeah all right so yeah, next is the Volt Frigate, the easiest one to put back in the Volt Machine position because you just have to do this. Eat. <laughs> so yeah, I love this for that. And then the gimmicks are an opening a canopy, which I cannot do right now because I don't have nails, but please do trust me that this goes up. So yeah. And then for the batteries, they are here. So they are in between the legs. There are screws there. What you do is you just articulate the legs a tad bit. Don't be afraid to open the legs. Open the legs. So there you go. And then here is where you open the hatches for the batteries. I'm gonna do that now and put in the batteries. A pro tip when you're uh, moving, the, uh, opening the hatches, just articulate it so it's out of its own way. As you can see, that gas joins over here very nice. So yeah, all right. So yes, I put in the batteries inside, so I screwed the lids back on. So I did put the uh, it on the on switch so just to return this to its normal position you have to look at this right here 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 so you have to align them so for them to clasp so yeah it's gonna be a tad difficult in camera but yeah I'm gonna try it for you guys so there, there we have it so yeah there we have the Volt frigate we <laughs> and as for the landing gear i almost forgot the landing gear is on the crotch just pull here pull 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 and it comes out so yeah landing gear and then you pull on this okay don't be afraid of that and then you pull on the tab and let's pull on the other side first and then you pull on this as best as you can. Pull on it. Yeah, there we go. And then 
push it a bit and then you grab it I do recommend you have tweezers for this so yeah I knew that's going to be a sound effect if you did it right so no sound effect what did I do wrong <laughs> yeah do this again the landing gear just pull it out a bit fidgety so yeah there you go line those two again there you go bolt frigate and be careful about this because they are dainty all right next is the uh, the shoes the lander the vault lander so yeah just to have it prepped As you can see I have the instruction manual on my left side so <laughs> to have it prepped as the lander you just do this <laughs> all right but no yeah uh as a gimmick for the vault lander I have him disengaged they are secured by very strong magnets as you can see then yeah disengage and then you push on this to have the wheels jut out I'm gonna push as best as I can okay so as you can see the wheels are a bit down so let's do that on the other side also okay there we have it the wheels are a bit down so that's nice yeah and then there's a gimmick for this the cockpit as you can see it opens right you can put the capsule in there but if it's in vault in mode just turn this right and then there is a device here that lets you if you can see that inside you can turn the you can turn the cockpit right side up this is better if you can see it you see moves inside so yeah that's a very good detail by Bandai right there so what you just do to go back into your what machine is yeah have them clasped push them this down to have the wheels on the ground so yeah that's for the bolt lander Wee! all right and oh yeah uh, I almost forgot another gimmick for the lander is if you push here The drill comes out so you can pop it even higher so yeah that's a drill for the vault lander all right so now we have all the five volt machines on big falcon base so this is how it looks like so nice very nice right i don't have the capsules inside yet because that's gonna be for another video so this video is already too long, this is only part 2, we'll be coming back with part 3 so I'll just leave you with the hype. Alright! So yeah guys, uh, if you like the video, this is only the first part. I'm going to make the second part for the poses, for the transformation, final thoughts, and all that stuff. So if you like what you see, uh, please do leave a comment, like, subscribe, eat your veggies, keep safe, and peace! 
Alright, double V! Say hello to the viewers, boo! Hello! Hello! So yeah, Tsukunda! Alright! 